Alright, are we ready? Yeah. Was the dog being quiet? Yep. Yeah. That's good, because I can't hear. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's shocking. <laughs> Oh, uh, but when I make the jokes, I'm being insensitive. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to Beer Quest. We are here with, uh, I got Kirk and I got Phil. And, uh, yeah, let's do another one of these. Alright, so our first beer is uh, McGuire's Irish Red, um, and, and these beers this week are a little bit conflicting. Yeah. Uh, so McGuire's Irish Red, uh, where do you think this is from, Phil? Where Ireland. would you? Uh, yeah. Ireland. Wales. <laughs> no, not Wales. <laughs> Um, Northern Ireland, just to be a dick. <laughs> are, I totally didn't read the iPad already. No, it's from Destin, Florida. Of course. So, the, uh, the, the heavy Irish population. Yeah, that's Destin, Florida. Florida. That's yeah. right. It's like New York, Destin, Florida. That's right. That's so, right. The label on this isn't at all <laughs> insensitive. No. It, it, looks like, it looks like Sean Connery it, dressed as a leprechaun. It, it's not at all just... Our Irish stereotype. Irish. Irish. When it says one million, yeah, one of a million, it's like like a dollar. Yeah, like, it's like wrapped a, around. Yeah. It. Uh, okay, so uh, it is uh, four point five percent from Dustin, Florida, and uh, fun fact about this: it says on the can that it won the gold medal uh, Florida Beer Championship um, and the silver medal in the Great American Beer Festival. So. Um, well, as long as they weren't competing purely against beers from Jupiter, I think it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter, Florida, right? Yeah. Okay, not like the planet. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, are there beers on the planet Jupiter? Okay. We don't have any proof that we there's not. We don't have proof that there's not. That's true. Isn't it a gas giant? Uh, it's red. It is red. Funny that. Uh, <laughs> well, we had the tiger blood a few weeks ago, and that was no. That, that was neon. Yeah, that, yeah was, that, was, that was like actually red. This is like an amber ale. Yeah. Almost like, almost like it's an Irish red Off ale. camera, a friend of mine made me try a uh, red ale a couple weeks ago. I was not a fan. They're not always the most exciting beers. They're very it, malty. It tasted like beer. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not the most exciting. I went right back to the cider I was drinking. Uh, all right. Well, let's, uh, Kirk, go ahead. Smells like beer. Yeah, but it doesn't smell like yeah, it tastes like beer. Uh, really? It doesn't smell like bad beer, though. No, it doesn't. It's not overly strong. It does kind of taste like beer. That's actually quite good for a red. Oh, I usually find reds really boring. That's really good. That's, a, that's actually, yeah, it, it is, it's not a bad beer. Uh, there's nothing in here that makes me go, oh, I don't want that. Is there any, like, it's flavors that I can't quite put feasting in Bibbury and debauchery at McGuire's Irish Pub in Pensacola and Destin. All right, I'm glad we're not the only two that couldn't figure out. Yeah, we tried to figure out what the words were earlier. In Bibbury, like debauchery, I know, but I don't, I don't know that word at all. So is this like a pub that just happens to also brew beer? I think so. Yeah, we think so. Yeah. Where'd you get this from? Field trip, anybody? Wow, wow. Oh, we we've had this. Around for like brewed and packaged for McGuire's Irish Pub in Pensacola, Florida, by McGuire's Irish Pub in Lakeland, Florida. I'm confused. Where are they? <laughs> where, are, where are they? It's, it's from that hidden uh, Irish population in Florida. They're just in all Lakeland. over the place. In Lake, yeah. Yeah. Lakeland, yeah, you yeah. know that oh, classic Lakeland. Irish redneck population. In Lakeland. Lakeland. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I'm I'm quite pleased with this one. It's that's fine. Actually, that's actually quite tasty. Yeah, I'm shocked. It's not the worst beer I've had. No. No, no, not by far. Not the worst I've had either. Not the worst I'm going to try today, I'm fairly certain. Right. <laughs> so, should we move on? Yeah, let's move uh, on. Next beer. Alright, so next we have the Indian Pale um, American IPA. Um, where is this? Well, that, that's the name of the... Uh, I don't know where this is is actually from. It, okay, uh, R real quick, real quick, and I want to go on a rant that, that one of my friends who's a bartender has gone on to me several times, too. Mm -hmm. It can't be an Indian pale ale if it's an American pale ale. 
If it is an American IPA, it is an American Pale Ale. It is an APA. I think this is where it's from. It could be an Indian style <laughs> Pale Ale. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through all of that. <laughs> we'll just ADR a name and it says Norway. So this is from yeah, and, it is wait, from Norway. Wait, so this is an an Indian Pale Ale, American IPA from Norway. It's an American style Indian Pale Ale from Norway. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And then massive bottle. Fucking look at the size of this thing. Okay, it's taller than my head. And you have to drink all of it. Fuck off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I need to see this thing. There's so much about this I don't understand. Full body, fruity, tropical bitter. That is a uh, very. I feel like the Norwegians don't know what it, they're talking yeah. about. So it is. It is seven point five percent ABV. Um, Did you? Uh, it's, oh, it's, ABV. oh, Try and read. The ingredients. Hey, are there any uh, directions on this bottle that we have to follow? I, I don't know. It's all in Norwegian. Hang on, no, there's some in English. We're proud of the fact that our, that our uh, that other breweries use our India Pale Ale as reference when creating their own. Our IPA is on all beer lovers' bucket lists. Is it uh, the beer? I mean, I'm not a beer lover, to be fair. Um, the beer that. Then why do you have a show about beer? So it says it says it's a, a rich malty and. It's rich, malty, and very bitter ale. I don't know. Maybe do they have a specific? fruity and spicy finish? I don't know what the IBUs spicy? are. Yeah, yeah it says fruity and spicy. All right, let's let's. Did you have a Norwegian bottle? Let's, let's yes. go for this. So much. So you can see the Norwegian bottle opener. That probably wasn't at all. I'm just going to pour you a little bit and me a little bit, and then I'll give Kirk the rest. Chug, chug. How about this? Uh, Kirk, aren't you glad we changed format so now you can suffer we with the I'm so happy about this. Okay, wow. That is... There's, there's still, so, so there's much still two-thirds there's of the still bottle still left. How, does it say anywhere like how much is actually in this bottle? Can you translate what ounces is in Norwegian? Oh, it's 60 IBU. 60 IBU. Uh, yeah, it's 60. All right. We've done worse. Um, I think it's 50 milliliters, maybe. 50. Wait, no, that's, um, that's a half liter. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a half, half liter. liter. To half a liter. Okay. All right. Half a liter. Okay. I think all of that. Uh, oh, so let's no. just all go for this. Ready? Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. Oh, I quit. no. Ah. Wow. How do you drink this whole thing? <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Ooh! I kind of want to try to test test the um, the miracle berry. I do. Oh. How many I can buy have? more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're out of right. All right, let's, All right, let's, let's try see. this with miracle berry. All right. There was a little sweetness to it. Nope, still not good. It's not good. It, it doesn't poke, coat my throat. Yeah, 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 that's the issue. Yeah. But there was more sweetness to it. It is not, I am not like, I don't have the same reflex to that now. I, I don't have to immediately go grab water. It made it taste more like the, uh, just regular. Beer. I still don't like it. Let's move oh, on. I, yeah, don't like no, it, I don't like it at all, still. Nice. Alright, so next we have the Carlsberg. Uh, I don't know much about Carlsberg. Phil, do you know anything it's about it? It's insanely common in Europe. It's it's almost like a Budweiser. It's everywhere. It's at every bar. Okay. Like, you see it anywhere you go. And what's funny is that I, I went to a uh, St. Patrick's Day celebration when I was living in the UK, and they mm -hmm. were serving Guinness and Carlsberg, because it's great. Okay. It's not Irish. So I, 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 uh, I read in one thing, a little bit I know, someone said it's probably the best beer in the world. Bullshit. Okay. Um, so it's five five percent ABV. Maybe like the best like common beer. Best common beer. You know, like the one that you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm preparing for this to be just just uh, just like, beer. Yeah, pretty much like a Budweiser. Okay. Um, and it is from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. So um, this one actually matches uh, more where it's from. It's no like American. It is, it is actually. Um, you know, except, for, the can. except for like ninety percent of the can being in English. Yeah, that's true. Because you could. Oh, God. Ooh, this no. does not smell amazing. No. It like, smells like beer. 
Smells like urine. Oh, my tongue still has a little miracle berry on it. That's weird. A bit, yeah. Um, <laughs> it tastes like beer, but I do think the miracle berry is how they It tastes act. sweetness. Yeah. This does yeah. not usually taste sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can properly like it. <laughs> yeah. I still don't like it. It's definitely better than that American IPA. Oh, way better than I. You know what? I I do see how this is just a stereotypical yeah. just beer. This yeah, something it, would, it does taste like just beer. Because the after the, the aftertaste, yeah. I'm just tasting that. Yeah. So without if if I didn't have Miracle Berry on so my tongue, it, it probably just. If you're in Europe, is this just like what you have at your your sporting event kind of? Yeah, thing? yeah, okay. that or like if you're in the UK, you'll you'll see that in like um, Old English on the you know generally on the tabs and stuff yeah. like okay. yeah it's just it's it's insanely common over there yeah it, it tastes like just just beer just beer yep that's all it is all right it's boring let's do rankings all right all right uh so time for rankings kirk go ahead rankings. um i'm a little bit conflicted because i don't know how i can judge this one because <laughs> since i had the miracle berry thing uh but definitely last place uh yeah. awful don't get it. Uh, no. Um, the aftertaste of the Carlsberry is still bad. Yeah. It's, it, in fairness of my initial reactions to all of them, I have to go uh, second, and then this was the one I liked most today. Uh, I'll possibly go. because Phil drugged me. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know what that was. Finally! Also, but, all right, Phil, <laughs> what's your rankings? Uh, one, two, and three. And honestly, I would seek this one out again. That was quite good. Like... So one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah. I have I have the Maybe same. I should try that one with the miracle berry. Oh, yeah. I like that, that one too. This one's mine. Go dump that out for me, please. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. That is much better with miracle berry. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, I actually am going to go uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Holy no shit! Way. We have the yeah. same. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah. There's so much going on there. Yeah. That, That's nuts. That blew my mind. Yeah. With the Miracle Berry? It's not bad with the Miracle Berry. That isn't... There's so many flavors. Oh my god. Yeah. I feel like I'm on LSD now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, Phil is not on LSD that we know of. Even with the Miracle Berry, this is shit. Yeah, yeah this, awful. Is, this, this is terrible. Is bad. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching Beer Quest. As we do every week, uh, we donate to Dig Deep, a charity that is helping to provide 2 million Americans with running water who do not have running water. Um, we will be donating $15 to Dig Deep this week. Uh, if you'd like to price match <laughs> with us, uh, please do so. Uh, it's a great organization. Um, and, uh, yeah, we look forward to more beers. Well, at least sure. I do. Sure. Kirk, maybe not. But, uh... We should go rinse our tongues off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.